So comedian John Mulani, he brought out Dave Chappelle as one of his surprise guests in Ohio this past Friday night. And fans was not having it at all. Since comedian John Mulani has come under criticism this weekend after reports that he surprised the audience in a show in Ohio with an open appearance from local resident Dave Chappelle who proceeded to do a lot of transphobic jokes for a crowd of people who they thought they was just to see the guy on the posters. Chappelle's opening set occurred during a show in, at Ohio State University Value City Arena, although there was no footage from the event. As attendees was required to lock their phones up beforehand, several audience members took to social media afterwards to criticize the show. According to attendees, Chappelle appeared as a surprise opener and told jokes targeting the transgender community. Mulani reported it came on stage and hugged Chappelle at the conclusion of the opening set. Some fans in the crowd expressed their disappointment after the show on Twitter. Somebody said, my favorite part of tonight was when Dave Chappelle ambushed us at the John Mulani show and told a bunch of transphobic jokes. A massive stadium of people laughed and then Mulani hugged him at the end. Then somebody else said, y'all ever hear 12,000 people laugh at a transphobic joke while you a trans person in the audience who didn't know the transphobic comedian? would make a surprise appearance at John Mulani's show. Yeah, that wasn't fun. F you, DC. <laughs> and then somebody else said, okay, tell me why I just went to the John Mulani show and Dave Chappelle was a surprise opener and made not only a transphobic joke, but a homophobic one. <laughs> bruh, I laugh every time I see people going crazy, bruh. Welcome to the world of social media. Like, if social media was out back in the day, I feel like it would be the same way it is now because the reason why this era is so sensitive because everybody have, has a public opinion. Like, it's not just people talking in their house amongst each other now. Now, whatever thought you got in your brain, you could post it to Facebook, to Twitter, to Instagram and get a lot of people who agree with it to retweet it, to get it to the top. Like, I hate it. Like, I don't really watch Dave Chappelle stand-ups like all the time, but I'm pretty sure that's not the only thing he talk about. I'm pretty sure Dave Chappelle not getting on stage and just like, hey, let me talk about all the gay people. I can't stand y'all. Like, I'm pretty sure he's not doing that. He just making jokes. Like, I'm not sure where he live at, but I, I think Dave Chappelle live in California. It's like one of the highest rates of like trans and gay people. So that's probably what he see most of the time when he going out. He probably see a lot of them and how they like socialize and communicate and he make jokes on them. Like, like somebody on Twitter telling them they was a trans and as a trans they didn't like the joke. So what? Comedians make jokes about black people. So as a black person, should I make an uproar because I didn't like the joke? Or if like if somebody like Chris Rock or somebody make a joke about relationships, should I say, oh, I'm in a relationship and I don't like the way you said that joke. I'm offended. Like, no, you're at a comedy show. You're supposed to get offended. If you're not offended, he ain't doing something right then. These jokes is to borderline offend you, make you laugh, make you think. Like, in Dave Chappelle, the times that I do watch him, he says jokes with a comedic twist. He's not just saying stuff just to say it. That's the thing about him, like, he might get all the way to the end of the punchline of the joke, but then it clicks. Like he makes you think about his jokes. It's just not like outright making you bust out loud. And to the people that easily get offended on every little goddamn thing, just stay at home. Stay at home. Don't go outside no more. If you're going to get mad at every goddamn thing, which I think about this is your boy B. I'm out.